Welcome to Freshly for Animated. Our Magnabot character has been available for download and study for more than a decade. And still there seems to be some confusion how to approach rigging a multi-view character. In this video I will walk you through the process of rigging a full turnaround in a way so that all the body parts are actually parts of the same smart magnet rig. So you don't end up having five different rigs for each of the angles. Now let's uh, enter one of these and have a look at the rig. I'll load it in the Smart Magnet Rig panel and you can see the rig is called RBT2. If I go inside another one of these views, there you go, same rig, RBT2, even though this is a different angle. Now we enter here and we have again the same rig with the same body parts. Actually, as you probably know, these rigs share body parts. So if I choose this um, element here and use next and previous framing symbol, I can choose a different angle for the upper torso and then snap the body parts so that we have um, actually a three quarter view in the upper torso while the lower part of the body is in uh, profile. I'll disable real time updates so that it doesn't slow my computer and we can do the same here for the head as well. We can choose the head angle and then I can start posing with IK and I can choose different hands as well. So this is a much uh, more flexible way of rigging your character, having your, having your body parts shared with many different angles within the containers and they're all interchangeable because they're always a part of the same rig. So how do we actually achieve this? Now let's look at this example here. We've put all the angles onto the same frame and I've seen people do just this. Put all the angles in the same frame and then rigging them as separate rigs. It makes absolutely no sense to do this. You will never want to have the same character in the same scene appear in different views. I mean, one of these views will always be in sight unless, uh, of course, you have a mirror or something. But in the general situation, you only need one rig and you can't have the same rig multiple times in the same keyframe. So if I am to start rigging here while we have the multiple views on the same frame, I will have to create different rigs. Let's uh, start with the front view. These are not rigged, so this is uh, the first time I'm rigging them. Now, this is a fully functional rig. I can uh, move the master parents, I can chain select and I can snap all the elements. I can rig this one again. But this will be a separate rig. It too will be fully functional. If I move the pelvis and snap, all the elements will snap into position. And I can keep going like that and end up having five rigs. But um, if we look at the shared upper torso, zoom in on this magnet targets, we'll see that we've already created duplicated magnet targets for the arms because um, we have this torso rotation here so our artwork was set up properly but um, this set of arms is rigged and will snap to this set of magnet targets and in this other rig we'll have 
this set of arms, the front view arms, snap to these other magnet targets. So they are not part of the same ring. And if I actually go out and load the rigs in Smart Magnet Rig Panel, we'll see that we have two separate rigs. So this is not um, a solution. We can't choose a different angle for the upper torso and snap the arms the way they should snap for this um, upper torso. Attempting to rig in the same frame is just completely nonsensical. I've seen people do it. Here in this file, we've just prepared our artwork and we're ready to start rigging. So we have this view and in separate containers, we have all the other angles for the turnaround, but nothing's been rigged yet. If we look at our library, you can see no magnet targets or center markers. And if we look inside um, any of these elements, you will see that there are no magnet target or center marker layers. If I attempt to load the rig in the panel, nothing loads. So what is the correct approach? You rig one view and then you bring the elements from the other views and roll over the rig info. This is what we'll do now. I will rig this front view first. As always, I will test by moving the master parent and snapping all these elements into position. Everything's fine. So now I need to identify his right arm and his right leg. I will just grab them here and move the right arm and the right leg and I will move the torso just below the pelvis and I will move the leg just here. Anyhow, I just want to separate the arm and the leg, the left and the right bit. I will actually even give them a folder. So these are his uh, left limbs and these will be his right. Arm on top, leg underneath, leg and arm. Okay, now let's uh, just make these all blank frames. I'll load the rig in the Smart Magnet rig panel and just for the demonstration I will rename it so that it doesn't have the default name. I will uh, call it Magnabot. Okay, now I'll go outside and come to my three-quarter view. I'll grab all these frames. I'll copy the frames and go into this container, but I will paste them here. Now I need to make sure that I match the body parts so that the same body parts occupy the same layers. This is foot, leg two, leg one, arm, arm one, arm two, hand. like this and I'll drag them here. Now I have torso. Torso will match torso. Next one is pelvis. Grab the pelvis and put it here. Next one to look for is the neck. I'll match the neck. And now we have hand, arm two, arm one. Hand, arm two, arm one. It's these three. We go here and we have foot, leg two, leg one. Then you go here and the head goes here. 
and I don't need these blank layers anymore. Here if we try to load we have nothing because this is not rigged. What we'll do is we will roll over the rig information from this rig to the right. But before we do this, let me just uh, add another blank frame and add one more view. Let's just make them three so that it becomes very clear what we're doing here. And we'll go to this side view here and grab the keyframes. So I'll copy frames and paste the frames here. Now again, I need to make sure that the bits match exactly. The head will come here. And this is the arm. We don't need these layers anymore. So now we have one rigged character and we have two unrigged characters and we make sure that these are the exact same elements now when i click this is the same hand this is the same lower arm this is the same upper arm maybe we can just switch outlines mode and look at the colors if nothing changes color then everything is fine it all looks okay so now we have to just select all of these and go roll over read info to the right okay now if I go here and load the rig we see this is the Magnabot rig and it's the same rig on this frame and on this frame body parts are interchangeable now because this is all the same rig we have something else to do though. We need to make sure that the magnet targets inside the elements actually match the positions of the limbs. Let's go inside and adjust the magnet targets. Let me just explain what I'm doing. I will enter this upper torso and I have to match the position of these magnet targets to the positions of the arms and the neck. How I will do this? Well, I will create a keyframe. So these are the same magnet targets, but now I will just snap them to where the arms are. How to do it? Select one magnet target at the time and press the tilde key. Now this is done. Go inside inside the pelvis and repeat the same thing. Create a keyframe. These are the exact same magnet targets. We're just changing their positions so that they are adequate for this view of the pelvis. And now let's go to the side view. snap bring it closer snap bring this one close snap this is it now the pelvis same thing bring this one close to where the leg should be snap bring this one close no this is not correct it has to be here Okay, now it looks good. All right, now if I choose the three quarter view here and make a chain selection and snap the arms snapped to these magnet targets. So I went from here to here and the arms snap into the shoulder joints. This is how 
you should approach a multi-angle rig with shared elements. If we look inside these um, arms here, we'll see that these are multi-frame elements as well. So obviously, because of the foreshortening, the magnet target has to travel. We only have one magnet target here, so we can actually twin it. I'll uh, create keyframes and move this magnet target just somewhere here. Adjust it and go classic tween. And here and classic tween so that the magnet target travels with the foreshortened arm. Now if I go outside and choose a foreshortened arm like this and snap the hand will snap exactly where we need it. So we can use Kineflex to pause. This is how you should approach your multi-angle rigs. You rig one view and then you roll over the rig info to all other views on the same timeline. Then if you need, you will relay your symbols. And obviously with the shared elements, you adjust the position of the magnet targets to match the position of the limbs that are attached to these magnet targets. Freshly Flanimated animated.